Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about Mailer Light and the workflow for Mailer Light. Before I get into the tool, I just want to tell you the strategy again um, so that you kind of have a diagram of how it flows. So each of these lanes right here, these swim lanes, um, is a is either your website, your potential customer or audience, Mailer Light, what it's going to do for you, and what you are going to do. Okay, so follow me through uh, what happens when a potential customer comes to your site. So let's say they go to your YouTube channel or your website or your social media where you're advertising things. And one of the things that takes them to your website is them giving uh, their email addresses in order to get this freebie you gave them. A freebie is also known as a freemium. It is also called a lead magnet. It's also called a freebie. And so if they get this PDF file, you've advertised, hey, if you give me your email address, I can send you this free PDF of um, whatever the value is to them. So if you are a realtor, you could send them information on the best places to live in that region. If you are a photographer, you could say these are some of the best places to take photos at so that you can consider. So that is a downloadable information product that they can download. And all you do for that download is you upload it to Google Drive and then you get a shareable link and then you put it in this email series that I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. So then your uh, potential customer gives you their email address and then in MailerLite what happens is it automatically adds them to this group that you've created. This group could be called, let's say you're a photographer, you could say um, photographer, photography dash and then just say lead magnet is locations or if you wanted to say realtor dash um, new clients okay and so once they're added to that group you've now created an automated sequence named after that group they're gonna be the same names um, but they're different things one is a group and one is an automated sequence but they go hand in hand they're paired together um, I'm only telling you that because it makes sense um, you could do a lot of fancy other things but your groups for the time being in your automated sequences should be the same and so part of that automated sequence has a welcome email and that welcome email has a link to that Google Doc, that PDF, free PDF. And basically what it's going to say is, hey, here's your downloadable freebie. And just so you know, I'm going to be sending you weekly emails that you're going to, be going to find valuable. So when you've set up the sequence, you have your welcome email and then a start of 10 weekly emails that you've set up and created as a default. Okay, MailerLite will take care of those weekly emails. So your goal is to keep feeding content to this sequence until you're ready to create another funnel. So let's say that this is um, new clients in real estate, okay, and you've sent them 10 emails. Basically, you've set up the foundation that you have 10 emails for 10 for the next 10 weeks. Every week, your goal is to create or add an email to that sequence so that you have a year's worth of content okay or what you could do is stop the sequence after email 15 and then figure out how to upsell them for something else so let's say they've got gave you their email address your next step is to go sell them on something whatever your product or service is so let's say you wanted to now sell a $50 PDF product now your goal is those 10 emails gave them value enough so that they become a warm lead, okay? They feel good about it. You've created now another funnel, and it could be a three email sequence or a 10 email sequence to upsell them on a $50 product because now they trust you. And so now you can sell them in the email, hey, I have this $50 course or $50 membership uh, site that if you want to learn all about XYZ in order, in sequence, um, I can walk you step by step through it then you can basically sell them in email. That's great. And so if after that, you can continue doing that. And what you could do in MailerLite is actually send the people that finished that sequence and move them to another group. So let's say your first group was like level A. Now you've got a level B. Move them to level B, and then all the people in level A are the newbies that came in, okay? So you just basically move them through these funnels that you have and so once you create like funnels and I know a lot of people create like 10 to 15 funnels um, and they sell 10 to 15 information products they make a ton of revenue from it so I'm gonna show you how to do that in MailerLite 
So MailerLite is your email platform. And let me see if I have it up here. There you go. All right, I'm going to show you mine. Um, and it's the same uh, process for you. So if you go into subscribers, this is where you're going to find your groups. And you look for groups. What you'll be able to see is all of the groups and my automations match my groups in most cases. So for example, I've got a group for mothers. So people who go to my, this section for mothers in my group, okay? And for you, um, it might be um, like if you're doing online coaching, you could say this is for the people who are at the lower level of online coaching, okay? Or the higher level of online coaching. And so if you go to subscribers and groups, I'm going to have a, um, one called Mothers, and basically that is your group. That's all I wanted to say about that. Automation, I'm going to have a paired group for that. So I'm going to click on Automation, and I have one that's called Motherhood Mom Hacks. Um, I have a mom group. I told you it should have been called Mom Group, but I wanted to make sure that I kind of understood which lead magnet was part of that automation routine. Okay, so I've set up my site so that when I click on that button they go and get these mom hack routines and when you click on this automation in here what it takes you to is this automated sequence okay so it shows you the workflow and overview so I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit workflow and then this is where you actually write all of your automated sequence so this basically says when a subscriber joins a group called mothers and I've set up my site so that when um, they fill in the fields, they will go to the mothers group, and that's another video. But for those of you guys that are working with me, um, I've set this up for you. So that's what happens when um, someone signs up on your website. Then they take are taken to this sequence. And so once they're in this sequence, there's a first email that's a welcome guide. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, I click on edit email content, and this won't let you open different windows for whatever reason. But this one I just said, hey, thank you for grabbing this guy that will save you time. This is a big deal. And um, then I tell them that this is how you open that that sheet, okay? So once I do that, I've got the welcome email. I'm gonna go back and I say, I'm gonna wait 23 hours. So you can basically add like different parameters on here. And in order for you to edit, you have to have it off. So once you go every day when you're like, or every week when you're adding content, you probably have to do, toggle it on and off. And I'll, that'll just pause things. And so it says wait 23 hours because when they first get that email, so let's say they sign up on a Wednesday at midnight, I want the sequence to wait 23 hours and then reset them on Tuesday. Uh, so that the next email that comes out is on Tuesday. The next Tuesday. So let's say that they did it on Tuesday, wait 23 hours, it's probably the next Tuesday that they'll get it. And what I wanted to do is um, allocate for my audience Tuesdays are the days that they get automated sequence emails. And then Wednesday or Thursdays, if I had like a random email that I wanted to send out because it's seasonal or because I had a new product to push, Thursdays are the days that I send out like these spontaneous emails that are not automated. Okay. And so then in here, you can basically say, hey, here's my second email, wait seven days. Here's my third email, wait seven days. And it has a subject line. Um, again, use the subject lines that are uh, with good copy. Get them to open the email. Um, so then who is it from? It's preferred to have your actual name in there. And then basically um, in your email, it's recommended that it be very plain and not have a lot of visuals because um, the studies show that people would prefer opening and reading emails like this versus the ones with images. Um, and then just a quick tip here, um, I'm gonna go hit back. If you get to a point where you're like editing the emails and there's this weird little uh, workflow here, so I'm gonna click on it and edit for you real quick. And then you can see that there's this unsubscribe, like this has to be in there and if you don't, get that in there if you click on this little hyperlink icon okay it has to have this little squiggly dollar sign unsubscribe squiggly and then when you hit OK it'll say the URL seems to be an external link do you want this to be required hit cancel that's really important hit cancel and then you can hit done editing if you don't have that unsubscribe with that little squiggly line right there um, it will not save 
okay and then you just continue writing emails in here so you go ahead and you um, click on add and then continue adding emails every week and so here for example I totally forgot to put seven days in here so I'm just gonna hit add add a delay and I hit seven days and it hit save and that's it okay so that's pretty much Miller Lite in a nutshell um, let's say you decided to go ahead and create another uh, freebie you would create a group under subscribers called freebie number seven and then automation you would create automation number seven so let's say I'm gonna go in here real quick and I'm done with my funnel and I told you about upselling right so if I go ahead and click on edit workflow and I wanted to upsell them what I could do is then hit add and then action and then say move to another group so upsell I can move them to another like section and then start the automation process all over again so that's pretty much how people are doing these lead magnet generation this lead magnet a free thing could potentially sell someone once you give them like you know 10 emails of value you can start selling them on products that uh, you might have so I hope that makes sense on how MailerLite works again all you do is once you click uh, create that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, hit X, and then I'm going to turn it back on. And once you do that, you should just see the subscribers roll in, and you can actually see in this automation like how many people have opened the emails or have clicked the emails. Okay, so I've actually just set um, mine up, and I'm getting, um, and I just set it up actually. Uh, two weeks ago. So just so you know, this is what it looks like. And I just moved from MailChimp to MailerLite. So I hope that helps you understand um, how this all works. If As long as you're providing value in emails, um, you're going to get leads. And it's what you do with those leads um, that will make you profitable.